Hello there, this is me, Jerry Kazan 93 and this is a, another Pretty Rhythm Rainbow Live, another Pretty Rhythm News Update. Now, this is, again, going to be about Pretty Rhythm All-Star Selection, but it is also going to be about the new series that is going to be coming on, which is supposedly the successor to Pretty Rhythm, called Pretty Par. Now, the thing is, the movie... And All-Star Selection are supposed to be a prelude to this new series. Hmm, it seems weird, right? But, what it says is that the Pretty Rhythm series, All-Star Selection, will be airing on April 5th of 2014, and will be ending on July 5th of 2014. Which concludes in a total of 13 weeks, which is the culmination of the whole spring anime season. Now, as Pretty Rhythm, Rainbow Live, and Aurora Dream, and Damn My Future, they were all 51 episodes. They had one break during the year, which was for New Year's. I don't know if Aurora Dream did it, but Damn My Future did it, and Rainbow Live did it, and basically... They are in, they were in total 51 episodes. Now I say in total because we all know Rainbow Life so far in, they only have two weeks left. And after this week, there's only two weeks left until that April 5th date. So Pretty Rhythm Rainbow Live is only going to be 51 episodes. Now the thing that has me really weirded out is, like I said, it's only going to be 50 episode 13 episodes and the fact is it's sort of a send away for pretty rhythm in total there's going to be no more pretty rhythm after this um i guess i'm reading a post on a wordpress to from neketsuki i'm sorry if i mispronounce your name but in total, there is going to be no more Pretty Rhythm. The new series, Puri Para, is going to be taking over Pretty Rhythm. And the character Lala is the character that we saw with the pink hair. and Or the, not the pink hair, the purple hair. And sort of that weird design that we didn't think was Pretty Rhythm-like. And wouldn't you know it, it's not Pretty Rhythm. So, I don't know. I feel I like the direction they're going in with All-Star Selection. I'm a bit weirded out what they're going with uh, Puri Para. Because it's sort of going to be a showcase for a new idol group. Which they've done before with Purity. As I thought they were Kara. I guess it's really Purity. They, it was scented that Kara was it. But regardless, they did this in Game My Future. They didn't do it in Rainbow Live, and they didn't do it in Aurora Dream. But Aurora Dream was Lisp, then it went to Damn My Future, which was Purity, and Prismy, which Prismy is big now. And then we got Rainbow Live, which is sort of another stage for uh, Prismy. So, and sort of the introduction of Prism Box. But, I liked Pretty Rhythm in total. Good series, very good series. And unfortunately, the story is going to stop in two weeks. I know there's three weeks left, but we all know 51's not going to be any story. It's not going to be any story at all. So, I don't know. I like the direction they're going with this. It's sort of interesting what they're doing with it. And, well, yeah, we just get on with it. So, there are three characters that are going to be the main characters of Puripara. Their names are Lala, as we've all seen. Then the girl on the left, who has blue hair and sort of a the usual blue character style like on and Brizimu, named Miriel. And um hint hint her voice actor is actually 
on from Rainbow Live, so yay for familiar voices. And then there is a girl on the right who's in red, and her name is going to be Sophie. Now, it's interesting. I know I've just been all over the place with this, but it's interesting. It's a lot of news to suck in at once, but wow. They did an interesting style with the uh, with the designs. I don't know. It seems pretty rhythm, but not at the same time. But then also it goes into a new art style, which is much different than Pretty Rhythm's used to. I don't know. I certainly like them. And then there's a little mascot character, which is probably going to be her, um, her mentor or such. Now, as for in total, there are some other little things that, um, basically this article goes into that, um, there is a censure, there is a massive thing about Pretty Rhythm that they changed to go to Pretty Bar is that they're trying to emulate Aikatsu. Now, a little thing about Aikatsu is it came out back in 2012. I believe 2000, no, not 2012, 2013. And now it's basically taken over Pretty Rhythm as a series. I don't know. It's just weird because Pretty Rhythm started this whole... I'm not going to say it started the whole anime thing because we had, I, I guess, Idol Master before then and then Pretty Rhythm came out and then Love Live came out, AKB came out, Aikatsu came out, Wake Up Girls came out. So basically Pretty Rhythm was sort of at that beginning portion of Idol shows and then it sort of blew up from there. So I don't know. It's an interesting thing to see that um, they are going in this direction. They have a new series, and it's going to be two series, not one. So, yay. So, again, I am going to do reviews on All-Star Selection. They are going to be short, because, again, they're probably just going to be review episodes and sort of just talking a little bit about the series, and hopefully there's some cool interactions and also that um, Pretty Rhythm, or Puri Para, I'm sorry, I just say Pretty Rhythm a lot, but Puri Para, I am going to review those episodes as well, since it is going to be a new series, and uh, I'll give my first impressions on it, and see if it really does live up to Pretty Rhythm as a series in total. But again, this has been Midori Kaisen 3 bringing you another Pretty Rhythm slash Puri Para news update. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.